movies and aviation, the two fields that he was most acclaimed for participating in. Um, these were these were crazy fields to be in, and they made him a lot of money. Um, but some argue that he also pursued him or pursued them um, just because of the notoriety and the money. In truth, if he would have saved all of his money mm. that he inherited from the tool company, he would have been a much richer man upon his death. But, he, but it wasn't about this. It was about his image. It was about meaning. It was about grandeur. It was about assessiveness. Hughes' death was not deliberate. That's my belief. It was not a suicide. Um, uh, it may he just took his daily dose of coding so he could continue functioning and pursuing his passions and then he passed away um, eight hours later uh, his body decided maybe not to work or something of that effect, to that effect it's unknown uh, I've considered all the evidence mulled over to the book and all that but we're going to answer these questions So, gratitude, new opportunities, personal strength, whole good relationships, spiritual change and growth. Hughes was always a gracious and grat uh, a man of whole gratitude. Um, he demands gratitude uh, when he accomplished things such as um, traveling internationally, um, pursuing new ideas, uh, nurturing old ones, um, doing all these things gratified Hughes to an exorbitant degree. Uh, meeting people he liked, meeting solid people. He did have good relationships. He had no Dietrich. Um, he had faith. He had a number of other women uh, that he was just friends with. He preferred to be just friends with a lot of women. And, um, he had a couple guy friends as well that I haven't mentioned, but they're worth mentioning. Um, overall, I think he had good relationships. Um, he had a lot of personal strength. He carried on for years. Um, advancing aviation, advancing the movie industry, trying to create things that would, uh, that would truly impact the world in a positive way. I believe that with my entire heart. Um, he had a lot of personal strength. He endured three plus plane crashes. And he just kept going. And going and going. Um, without, uh, uh, stopping um, and that requires strength and that requires resilience both of which I think he had his fair share of um, I think that he was a trauma survivor for the entirety of his life his life in a sense like all of our lives um, uh, contained perpetual trauma which to me is not even a pessimistic fact. I think it's, I think I'm just being a realist. Um, you know, we learn how to adapt. We learn how to have better circumstances. Um, we learn how to live. Um, and we can do it. You have plenty of new opportunities. That's for sure. He created them for himself. He sought them out. Which, again, takes personal strength and gratitude. And good relationships. Um, he was a Mormon all his life. Um, he believed in a higher power. Um, you know, that, that's spiritual change and growth, if you believe, um, uh, in that. And, um... I think that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure how to feel about Mormonism. It's, it's a cult, but how should we judge it? Um, I will say that believing in the higher power uh, does grant a certain vibrato and divine justice to everything you do. Um, uh, it's sort of yield us to this sort of feeling of everything 
we do having a purpose, I think he has believed this wholeheartedly. How could he not? In truth. Um, yeah, uh, how could he not? I mean, he did great things all the time. He cared for people. He carried on. He revolutionized the uh, flight. He founded international flight. Not founded it. He, um, he demon demonopolized it. Made it more accessible. Just me, it's a lot more important. Founding it. Um, created new opportunities for a lot of people. Um, and so I think he exceeded all of these uh, PTG requirements. Um, he didn't get much therapy. Which I think is sad. He experiences symptoms. Um, he experienced them until his death. Um, but I, I do argue that he was in a growth mindset. He was he was managing. He was continuing on. That's all you can ask for. I think he pressed forward. I wouldn't say the Bible has helped them overcome, but I would say that 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 a uh, higher power or, um, and divine justice were at work. I don't know what advice you would have for a trauma survivor, but probably to keep going, be rackety, um, smile, think critically, do what you wish, be accountable to no one. I like that one the best. Uh, thank you for having me this evening. I thoroughly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy. Uh, those are my seminars on Howard Hughes, his life and work. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that. I, I think that Hughes was a man. That did a lot of things. And that helped a lot of people and I don't think you would have any regrets if you were to speak to him hypothetically today. Um, go watch the aviator. Go watch the aviator. Go watch the aviator if you haven't already. And um, read this book. Uh, it's really awesome. If you're more interested, if you want like a lot of lot of lot of details, more than I even shared here, read Howard Hughes. His Life and Madness, by Donald Ayer, Barlett, and James B. Steele, the life that inspired the major motion picture. The, the New York Times claims that, of all the books written about Howard Hughes, this is easily the best. Which I agree with. I would also like to say that um, Hughes was sort of a good example of someone who in that era, couldn't get the proper therapy he needed because we were um, less well equipped, well less well equipped medically. But he carried on, um, and I find that to be extraordinary. He carried on nonetheless. He um, he didn't he didn't commit suicide. He didn't do any, any of these things, but he um, continued on, and I think that's uh, quite important. Um, It would be easy to give up. It would be it would be easy to do these things, but he didn't. He continued on. And I charge all of us to do the same and to do it with a growth mindset. What else matters? 